So there he is, huh? Hey. <laughs> so listen, Tony, I know you did a good thing first, and I know you've been lying low for a long time. So I want you to take it easy for a while, huh? Vincenzo will look after you. You need some money? Ask him. You need a job? Lucky he'll take care of you. What more could a family guy ask for? Even my son done got it so good. But, Mr. Leone, I thought we got history. I mean, I've done a lot for this family. And now you're expecting me to take orders from this, this, this... Well, it just doesn't seem right. Tony, I know what you did, and no one is more grateful than me, honestly. But the idea that you walk in here and start to question my leadership right away is, quite frankly, out of order. Kabish. I understand, boss. So when you need something, give Vincenzo a call down at Atlantic Key. He'll take care of you. Won't you, Lucky? Of course, boss. Anything you say. Tell you what, we can go there now. I got you a nice little place to stay, Tony. It's got you written all over it. We'll head there first. You're all heart. This is it, Tony. Home sweet home. Beautiful, ain't she? This shithole is supposed to be my home? Oh, I think it's very you. Now you're disrespecting old Vincenzo. Now, tough guy, get your ass upstairs and go put on some decent clothes. I don't got all day, so move. Watch for pickpockets, son. Every step, you know? Some die in American stereotypes, you know? Now take me to my place. Apartments cost money, Tony. Just you remember who pays the bills around here. Me, Daddy Vincenzo over here. So from now on, you work for me. So I better see you back here real soon. We got a dealer working on North Chinatown, Pats. The lazy bastard ain't brought any cash in in days. Maybe he needs some encouragement to get off his ass and do some work. Acting like a bitch. He kind of reminds me of you. What are you trying to say? I ain't trying to say nothing. I'm telling you to get over there and make sure this asshole starts bringing in some goddamn money.
So, Vincenzo tells me you're too chicken shit to work your patch. Hey, man, I'm no chicken shit. I, uh, I've been ill as all. <coughs> I go back to work tomorrow, or maybe the day after. Oh, I think you're gonna work today, like it or not. Except that, Tony? I want you to get over to Chinatown. All right, boss. I'm on it. Oh, God, why is there never any goddamn paper in here? Hey, don't push the tough guy. Come on, Tucker. I'm going to take when the cheese go up. Leone Tarp, asshole. You're gonna <laughs> really regret this. <gasps> you wanna say something? You wanna dance? You ah, want some more, ass head? Every time your gun goes off, blame the police. I, never thought I just so need a man. I let him touch me for money. Oh. <laughs> Leone's the only thing, oh, nobody oh, else. Man. You hear me, you Sadako fuck? Remember J.D. O'Toole? Difficult to forget. Yeah, he's currently running a Sindaco controlled titty bar. <laughs> I mean, gentleman's club. The interesting thing is, he wants to be a Leone now. Fuck him, he made his choice. Hello, brain cell? Jeez, Tony, Sal said you was dumb muscle. But I didn't think anyone was that dumb. We can use J.D. to get the drop on Sindaco's plans. He's gonna be up on the inside. There's just one thing. He's being sat on by some Sindaco ape. I want you to remove this little obstacle and get JD on our side. Capiche?
Well, you just gave me some great stuff footage. JD, you saw that? You're filming me? Uh, I was just it for my own use. Uh, I can't wait till we're on the same team. Don't get too excited. You still owe me money. Uh, uh, take that Sendako chump card to the bottom, huh? Uh, just be safe so no one recognizes you. Uh, I'll take care of the bottom. It's you. Yeah, how about that? It's me. What do you know? I'll tell you what I know, tough guy. Some of our boys have screwed up a simple, no-brain fucking job. Lousy bastards can't hey, even finish hey, hey, hey. Man on! Why am I surrounded by so many fucking idiots? Oh, I don't know. Birds of a feather? Oh! You're a fucking comedian! Well, laugh this up, wise guy! You're the one who's gonna clean this shit up for me! Now get over there and drag those morons back here! Mama, I'll call you later. Yeah. Vincenzo. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, of course. I'm being a good boy. Whew. Love you. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, sweetheart. Give it a rest now. Whew. Here, now get out of here. A little trumpetta for you. <laughs> hey, who loves you, Angel? You do, Vinny. Is that your mother on the phone? Sure. You're disgusting. Where's your respect? Respect? I call it multitasking, Antonio. What? Don't you like getting a hot bra to suck you off? What? Because if it's a problem, I can get Ray to help you out. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm just busting your balls. Relax. Listen, tough guy, I need you to do me a favor. 
I got girls crazy for blow. I got a car full of it parked in Trenton. Go pick it up, give me a call. What am I, your driver? Screw you. No, listen, 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 listen. I do it myself, but I'm being watched by the feds. You know I'll look out for you. Trust me. Besides, remember, there's a hierarchy here, capiche? Now be a good kid. Asshole. Car. You son of a bitch, Benny, you set me up. Set you up? Set you up? When you came back to the city, you had nothing. Nothing! I set you up all right, you ungrateful bastard. With an apartment and a job, and for that generosity, I expect you to take a few risks now and then. I ain't a charity, pal, okay? And I ain't your sugar daddy. So the police were watching the car. Screw the police! When I tell you to do something, you do it, capiche? Oh, yeah, I understand, Vinny. I understand that as long as I work for you, I get treated like a bitch. Well, look, I was making scores while you were looking up girls' skirts. Have your bitch job back, boss. I quit. Tony, you're making a bitch. his mother. You could learn a thing or two from Giovanni Cotta. He calls his mother every day. No, he's a good man, and his Sicilian sausage is the best in town. Casa, but Ma Casa ain't no good man. He's a pervert. That's just a foul-mouthed rumor. What kind of man are you, Tony? All right, Ma, whatever you say. 
Or maybe I'll go give Giovanni a call, see what he's up to. I'm in the mood for some loving. Okay, ladies, give me a minute here, will ya? I'm gonna change into something that's a little more me. Okay, ladies, it's milk time. Who's gonna be mama? Oh, my. Aw, oh, come on, girls, get with the program. <laughs> Take a look at my photo. It's of your good man Giovanni Casa wearing a goddamn diaper. Is this how you spend your time? Sneaking around in the woods, taking pictures of men? What is wrong with you, Antonio? You shame me. But... And diaper or no diaper, he's still a better man than you. Me. You're no more here to you no more, you coward. You can't fool me. I know why you don't move back in here. You're running scared of some triad. Your father, God rest his soul, wouldn't let no one run him out of his own home. But Ma! But unlike you, your father wasn't yellow. Until the Troyes show you some respect, you're no son of mine. A daughter, maybe, but not a son.
You know I'd do anything for you. That sickle boy's racing downtown today. If only you were more like him. He treats his mother with real respect. Of course, if your father was here, he'd win the race and take this smug grin off that sickle boy's face. Yeah, he'd make him eat lead. Ah, your father was a real man. Good boy. to you no more, Tony. You shame your Sicilian roots. After you took that photo of Casa, he stopped paying his protection money. And what are you doing about it? Nothing. Your father would have turned him into meatballs by now. Casa might be a bit funny, but it takes guts to snub a Cipriani. I only wish you had his guts. You wish I had Casa's guts? Okay, Ma, you asked for him.
Tony. How you doing? What's up? You and me are gonna talk, Casa. Just somewhere more private. The boss ain't too happy. Rallies have gone too fucking far this time. So, uh, where, where are we going? You're cool, ain't we, Tony? I'll get you the money, I owe. Honest. I just need some time. Hey, does your master like a spicy sausage? I can get us some, no problem. talk about Tony is it the protection money it is isn't it Tony uh, we can talk about this right Tony yeah yeah talking is good people just don't talk enough these days Tony stand there and shut your yap Casa yeah okay Tony but I don't feel comfortable hey easy with that Tony it's it's the on switch for the no! Can't we be civilized about this, Tony? Special sausage meat delivery? No one told me about this. Whoa! Which zoo did we knock off this time? There's loads of meat back here. Mmm, tasty. Okay, I'll take them. It's a good thing Kasa ain't here. If he finds out about this, he'll go crazy. Get the hell out of the way! Ma, you there? Hurry! I'm just on the phone. Yeah, he's here now. Okay, okay, I'll school him. Bye. Tony, come to upset your mother again, huh? You spend all day playing the tough guy? You never come to see me. Or bring home any nice girls. But who'd want you anyway? You look so pasty and thin. You're trying to kill me with the shame and the worry. Well, no more. From this point on, we're through. I've called a hit on you. It's really the only way, Antonio. What? 
Ma! You were always a disobedient boy. It's for the best, son. At least try to die like a real man. Try to stop shaming me. JD, you little sicko, get the fuck out of here before I come in here and break your legs. Oh, oh, I'm coming! Oh, but not like that! <laughs> hey, Tony, que pasta, huh? Give us a hug. Whoa, 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 you're sticky. Oh, it's the, uh... The, the strip of stuff they put all over me, you know, they like it, you know, they put it anywhere, and, uh, so, um, how you doing? What the fuck are you wearing? What? This? Oh, I'm an adventurous lover, you know, I like, uh, an experimental sign, you know? Uh, nothing wrong with that, huh? Uh, you can watch if you Oh, want. you're sick, you better shut the fuck up right now. Okay, relax, Tony. Where's my money? See, that's the problem. We are getting ripped off. All right, now you wait here. I gotta go change out of, uh, <laughs> this thing, you know. Hey, Raven! Time to put away the double ender. Hey, Tony. Let's you and me uh, go for a drive. Uh, you know, we got some things we gotta check out. Hey, okay, okay. Oh, I'm sure the girls are ripping me off. Look out! We better draw the name of them to see what's up. That's one of my girls. Hi, JD. I was just about to bring this to you. Honest. That's one of my girls in their car. Hey, I recognize that girl. Gee, don't you trust me no more, JD? Get the money back, Tony. That girl's one of ours. Mama says I got an enemy complex. Talk about Big Brother. Here's your thinking money. That girl right there. You think I wasn't going to bring this to you or something? Got What's problem? It? No, 
Nice work, Tony. I don't think the girls are gonna give me any more trouble on this shift. Thank God you're here, Tony. I just had a tip-off that the cops are gonna raid us. So? You got a license? Not for some of the shit that goes on here. Salvatore is here, paying my girls a, a special visit, you know? We gotta get him out of here before the cops arrive. Uh, meet him out front. Never a dull moment. You did well today, son. I like your style. I always have. Thank you, Mr. Leone. You know, I think Vincenzo has taken up too much of your time. I could use a good fellow like you. Give me a call sometime. Uncle Sal will take care of you. Hey, boss, you okay? Do I look okay? No. Then what are you, a fucking moron? You're always saying the obvious. I can't believe I'm surrounded by people like you. Sorry. <sighs> Listen, I'm sorry. Tony, you're one of my most trusted allies. After what you did, you're like a son to me. Better than my son. Better than any son. Your mother is a lucky woman. So I hear. Anthony, it's over for guys like us. We're dinosaurs, or dodos, or dildos, or something. I tell you, even in my own family, I feel like Jesus, surrounded by 12 Judases. I mean, listen to this. I got a union boss, abroad no less, that I need to do me a favor, and she asked me for money? All I wanted was 24-hour access to the docks while the strike was going on. Strikes that I helped organize so my boys could offload some drugs. And now I get this horse shit? I mean, these are people that I personally fought for, people I've killed for, honest people. And this is how they repay it's me? It's insulting. It's a disgrace. We're finished. Men of honor like you and me. Listen, Tony, I want you to take something to her. You're gonna take this crap off abroad? For now? What choice do I have? Look, go down there, pay her off, and tell her I'd like to have a word with her. Go. Salvatore wants to talk. I'm not playing Salvatore's game. Thanks for the donation, kids. See you around. Stop breaking my balls! He's got a problem? Bust your brute dog! Walk <laughs> Get him!
I'm gonna straighten you out real good, pal. He's over there! Is this one of your new doggies, Sal? Mr. Leone. Tony, come star. I'm glad you showed up. I want you to do something for me. If I can't get that bitch of a union boss on my side, I can sure as shit get her guys to play along. You got me?
party. Tony, how are you, my boy? You look a little thin. Isn't your mama feeding you right? Oh, I'm good, Mr. Leone. Listen, these union guys, they're getting me pissed. It looks like some of them are starting to see things my way, but we just need to turn up the heat on some of the less than receptive union big shots. You know what I'm talking about? number. Well, I found it in his address book, but whatever. You're his new doggy, right? Well, I want to go walkies. I'll expect you over soon. This strike will continue until I get some assurances from this city. Mafiosi thinking they can run the union can think again. Listen to this shit. They don't scare me. I got bigger balls than all of them. I should call a hit on this bitch. She's taking me for a ride. Well, two can play at that game. Tony, you're gonna deliver a message for me. Howard Ferry Station in Stepa. Daddy. Watch the big pack. Hey, take it easy. We're not in a race. Hey, you're not my regular driver. Who the hell are you? Shut up. From now on, you do exactly what Salvatore Leone tells you to. Capiche? I, 
I refuse to be scared by this. We'll see. And don't forget our little agreement, lady. Hey, Tony. Hey, uh, I can't come out right no now. Finance, I'm busy, you know? No romance. Why? What's going on in there? And what the hell is that smell? Look, Tony, we're catering to some real uh, really specialists good. today. This stuff is internet gold dust. What you should be concerning yourself with is that Leone Gaming House up in St. Mark's. The Sindacos are going nuts about it. I heard they're gonna blow the place off the map. JD, look, I just heard there's a bunch of Sindaco goons coming your way, and they're packing big time. Watch yourself. Thanks, JD. Appreciate it. Leave me oh, alone, man. punk.
Sindaco's got this place, the Doll's House? It's a casino and bordello in one. Classy, so you might lose at the tables, but you can bank on the ass. <laughs> yeah, well, the place is key to the setup. Over there. If you were to put it out of business, you know, uh, blow it up or something. I'm telling you, you'll be golden for Salvatore. and you're driving. So help me, I'm gonna have some fun today, even if it kills you. I just need to finish getting ready. Eh, screw it, I'm gorgeous. Come on, Tony. in the daylight. Take your goddamn hands off me. What's the problem here? Let's get out of here! But I'm 
gonna need to pick up some more stuff. Running. Come on, Maria, no more stealing. Oh, hush, Tony, baby. That was all a misunderstanding back there. I'm telling you, I don't have anything hidden up there. Get the hell off of me. Stop! Thief! Get me back to my place. I want a party, but the cupboard is bare. You got some sugar? Pure cane, huh? Great. Ciao. Come on, Tony. I got places I need to be. Tony, I've put myself up as the first prize in a street race. If Salvatore finds out about this, we're both going to be in big trouble. So you better come and save my ass. Then maybe it'll belong to you. Forever yours, Maria.
Let's go. Well, finally. <laughs> Mr. Tough Guy makes his move. Mind Look, my delicate flap. you're Salvatore's girl. I'm my own girl. Look at your goddamn square. Come on, Wayne, let's party. What have you taken now? Nothing. What was it this time, huh? Smack, downers, lewds, uh, a little too much trumpet, not enough diazepam, a little too much sideways, not Shut enough up. up. Tony! Who did this to you? No one. Who was it? This guy I'm seeing, Wayne. Oh, some guy you're seeing. You're my boss's girl. Shh, come on, Tony, don't be so square. Besides, he gets me this great speed, you know? A girl needs a lift. Plus, it makes you really wild in bed. Shut up! Why'd he do this to you, this dead prick, Wayne? I told him I was in love with somebody else. I told him about me and you, Tony, and then he hit There me. is no you and me! <laughs> Christ, you're killing me! Where is this Wayne? He deals at a bar down in Chinatown. I love you, Tony Cipriani! Are you Wayne? Who wants to know? I'm a friend of Maria's. Beating up on women, get your motor running, huh? That bitch had it coming. Yeah? Well, now so do you. I get him! The man with a pool key. I'm gonna kick your head in. You're dead. <laughs> Crazy bitch. What have you taken now? Taken now? Nothing much, you know. A couple of a couple of greens, a couple of heavy reds. Oh, and these great pills I'm getting from Holland now. Pure as hell. I feel great. No, I don't. I need a zap and I'll be fine. They're here somewhere. What's a zap? A zap? You don't know what a zap is? Oh, Tony, you are so square. Oh Come God. on, make sense. I need a zap, Tony. I'm gonna die. I felt like this before. I've OD'd. Get me a zap, Tony. I left him at the diner at Callahan Point. Well, don't just sit there, then. Come on.
I got some that fast and happen height. I'm offering my soul to lose my hair. Hey, that bitch Maria, and that's the fuck who killed Wayne. You better move that thing. if I hear another word from you. Oh, that's right, big dick. What are you gonna do, hit me? Why, I ought to... That's the only time you touch me these days. Why the fuck would I want to touch you? I don't like you goods. You revolt me. Me? Revolt you? What? Yeah, revolt. Oh, please. You know what? My daddy was right when he said you were nothing but a fat Yeah, swan. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Tony. I want my money, old man. Get out of here, you tramp. Hey, Anthony. You're an angel of mercy. Women, what are you gonna do about them, huh? Luckily, I can trust someone in my life. You, Tony. You're very important to me. Did I ever tell you that? You can't even get it up, you old bastard. Not for you! I don't like using public toilets, you slut! Very important. So listen, it's you and me now. We're in charge. We got those fools on the run. How would you know? You're more interested in hanging out with men. And you're only happy when you got your drawers around your ankles and your back against the wall. Christ, I met rabbits who like to fuck less than you. So listen, fuck this is you, important. Fuck you, Salvatore Leone, you no-dick, bullying, wife-beating piece of Italian Fuck me! Shit. Fuck you! In fact, everyone has! Anyway, I got a shipment of you-know-what coming in. This is gonna put us, you and me, on the map big time. Everything should run smooth. I just need someone, someone I trust, to take care of things for me. All right, Tony, I'll talk to you later. And another thing, I never met a girl with hydraulic underwear. It amazes me. Christ, why did I marry her? I was looking for a tramp, I married a slut. I must have really pissed someone off in my past life. I'll tell you that much.
You were supposed to be here hours ago. Quit whining, Miguel. You got the stuff? Hey, I'm a busy man, Tony. Next time I'll find another buyer. Yeah, I doubt you find anybody else who pays what we do. <laughs> I like you, Tony. You got big balls, like a bull. You got our money? Sure. What? You greaseball fuck! JD, Tony, thank God you're here. Oh, I'm sweating like my uncle in a schoolyard. Oh, my mind's going crazy. What are we gonna do? About what? Oh God, I can't believe it. He's gonna cut my balls off. He's gonna put them in a vice. Not necessarily that order. Oh God, I feel like uh, the day the FBI searched my hard drive. Oh, my heart's racing. Uh, you got any Valium or uh, Rohypnol? What about? Oh, no, no. See, I got too many of those. What's going on? Oh, God, I can't believe this. Why am I to blame? It's not my fault. But you know Salvatore. Oh, he's gonna get the vice squad on my ass. Oh, my God. It's gonna be like those statutory rape charges. Have you ever been in prison on statutory rape charges, man? They come in at you in the showers. Oh, God. She was 18. Oh my god, this, this, this is gonna be worse! Listen, you babbling cocksucker, one god's name is wrong. It's Salvatore. He was kidnapped while leaving the club. Well, why didn't you say so instead of making me listen to that crap? Come on! That's one of the guys that took Salvatore! Boy, I'm gonna run 
rip your fucking head off. What kind of driving was that? You trying to kill me? Mr. Leone, boss, I'm sorry. I mean, what can I tell you? Sons of bitches, they think they can do that to me? I'll tear their fucking hearts out. This doesn't end here. For Christ's sake, Tony, you saved my ass. Call me Sal. Thank God, Tony. Hey, 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 I'm at the back of the... Uh... I know. I saw you go in. I've been praying you turn up. Salvatore's gone apeshit. He's coming down here personally to kill every Sundaco he can find. So I took a hike. Look, I put a rifle on the roof across the street. Make sure no harm comes to Salvatore. This is my car! Hey, someone dropped the dollar. <laughs> By piece. You want a taste, pretty boy? Black and blue. I'm gonna break your fucking head off. I got the best shoes your size. Good luck. So, Salvatore clean house, huh? And now he's fixing up yours. It's all mine now, Tony. Those cocksucking Sudakos all been kicked out. Listen, I hear the Sicilians are trying to broker peace between the families. Sal's got some heavy up his place right now. The thing is, he smells a rat. 
He wants someone to go up there and follow this guy, see where he goes. Come siamo rimasti d'accordo, if you do my associates work for them, you'll be well rewarded. Hepford Heights will belong to the Diablos. So keep quei bastardi de Leone tied down in Portland. And when my associates control this city, you'll be taken care of. Ci pensiamo noi. Over there! It's the Leone! Shut up! It's all happening today. I'm gonna be a made man. Me! JD the Untouchable. <laughs> God help us all. I've waited a long time for this. It never would have happened without you, Tony. Hey, I'm crying over here. Come on. Hey, Mickey, how you doing? The ceremony's in Howard. for the Sandakos for years. Nothing. Those bastards kept me down. Just because a little I was blood in my veins. But Salvatore, God bless him. Oh, Daddy, no! I tell you, I can't believe this is happening. Finally, I don't need to be a made man. Hey, are we there? Uh, where's Salvatore? Tony, the first drink's on me.
Hey, the guy was a fucking rat. He screwed over his own boss, the scratchy eye. Salvatore could never have trusted that motherfucker. Dump the fucking car on the river. You could drive me off on the way. If the cops see the car like this, they'll pull us over for sure.
that dumbass gimp dead yet? Hate to disappoint you, Vinny. You son of a bitch! Why can't you just die already? You should have never come back, Tony. I worked my fingers to the bone for Salvatore, and you just come wandering back to town, and he's all Tony this and Tony that. This is my town, Tony! My town! You ain't taking it away from me! I'm gonna enjoy this. Tony, we got trouble. Big trouble. What is it, Sal? What's the world coming to? We got the Diablos crawling all over us in Hepburn. They're kicking our asses. We just finished one goddamn war, and bang! We're right in the middle of another. I swear, just when things were looking up, I'm cursed. I'm fucking cursed. Hey, don't worry about a thing, boss. I'll deal with this.
Sal. Tony, is it over? How'd it go? It's not good, Sal. I saved a few guys, but we lost too many before I got here. I think we're gonna lose this part of town. Over my dead body, this ain't done yet. I ain't losing shit. The Leones don't retreat from nothing. You hear me, Tony? You said it, Sal. Hey, Sal. Tony, what do you think of the new car? She's a beauty, huh? Fully loaded, top of the line. What's that smell? Oh, yeah, midlife crisis. Shut up. Tony, listen, I got a shitload of money that needs to be picked up from my warehouse down at Callahan Point. I don't trust anyone else to do this. Are you girls gonna talk all day, or are we driving? God damn it, woman. Did I tell you you could speak? Well? Well what? Don't play dumb with me, kid. I was playing dumb when your mother was still turning tricks. What's your problem? I know what you've been saying about me. You think I'm an idiot? Huh? Is that what you think? Boss, I ain't been saying nothing about you. What the fuck? I don't know what's happening to me. 
Jesus, I'm getting paranoid, Tony. Really fucking paranoid. Just because I think everyone hates me doesn't mean they don't. Know what I mean? Someone is out to get me. It's that fucking mayor. He's gonna blame me for all the shit that's been going down in the neighborhood. All of it. Not just the crap that I did, but all of it. Come on, let's go take care of this. Head towards the ferry terminal. But the strike's still on. There won't be any ferries. Just drive. I'll do the thing. Industrial action that had cut off Portland from the rest of the city has finally come to an end, or has it? Although all the subway and ferry routes are now officially open, militant workers are continuing with their blockade in parts of the city. The elevator bridge connecting Staunton Island and Shoreside Vale has been shut down. The strikers refuse to believe assurances made by city officials over the future of the ferries. Yeah, this is the place. I'm going to take a look around, see what's what. I might see you here later. I need to talk, but I don't trust these cell phones for shit. I'll call you on the public phone outside the courthouse. Yeah, it's Tony. That bastard mayor is fucking with me. I don't take that shit. Relax, I'll take him out of the equation. Hey, get on the street. You're a good boy, Tony. That fat fuck should be taking his daily run in the park. Make sure he's out of breath. Permanently. Oh yeah, get his phone. We can see who he's been talking to. Like 
Tony, a few of the guys will be calling you later. Make sure you're around when they arrive. Ciao, Salvatore. Hey, Tony, get in. Come on, we're going for a ride. Come on, get in, you're driving. Mickey, what, uh, what's up? Come on, Cipriani, what, what do you think, I'm here to whack you? Salvatore's just down there. Madonna me, what are you waiting for? Tony, my boy, today's the day you're being made. Oh, Salvatore, I'm Mr. Leone. Our mama's been waiting for this day. Antonio, how wonderful to see you. What's going on? We're having a party, dear boy, a party. Yes, a morgue party. The first of the season. Whoa, 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 whoa. what the fuck are you talking about? A morgue party. We're gonna have quite a night tonight. But first, we need to go and pick up the guests. Come, before our guests get bored to death. No pun intended. Because they're dead, you know. Our guest of honor is taking a little trip to the pathology labs. Let's not keep him waiting.
down. I can smell those Pirellis behind all this shit I'm in. What I want to know is why they get the mayor to light a fire under my ass. Listen, meet me down at the jetty. My left We're gonna do a little fact finding. The L? Tony, how's the campaign? It's down to the wire and every last vote's gonna count. O'Donovan's campaigners are working those marginal seats hard. Well, we've got our own bandwagon, so get out there and spread the word! Dresses in his daughter's underwear. Oh, Donovan gets me. naked with hogs. Antonio, que pasa, amigo? You do know I'm Italian, don't you, Don? Not uh, Spanish? Of course. How silly of me. I just love all the Romance languages. My God, this is good. It tastes just like chicken, but somehow more, uh, sentient. You want some? I already ate, thanks. Ugh, too bad. It's fantastic. I have some more delicacies about to be served. The liberals would have a field day, of course, but how little they know of life's real pleasures. Sophistication and democracy have always been such 
uneasy bedfellows. Listen, Don, we need to win this election, okay? We need to make sure that there's uh, no skeletons in the closet, if uh, you know what I mean. Right. What I mean is, how do we take care of this O'Donovan guy who is covering for um, standing in for the Ferrellis? The guy has a lot of people canvassing for him. All kinds of deluded people, people, if you know what I mean. I think we need to have their faith in democracy shaken, if you understand me. What you mean is that I gotta go beat the crap out of them. <laughs> oh, your passion, Antonio, it's, it's magnificent. It's so, um, 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 Wagnerian, you know? Arrivederci, amigo. Humphreys, bring out the apple. Cipriani here. Tony, it's your ma. I just heard you've been made. I never doubted you for a second, son. And this is like the farm is proving Don't push me. Let me get a little of that contract I put on you. Let's just put it behind you. Oh, After all, I only did it with your best interest at heart. Uh, hey. What kind of a son makes his ma go to such lengths? See you soon, son. Don't hey, forget Shino, about your old ma. Antonio, good to see you. Now, I'm no Democrat, but even I draw the line at vote rigging. Did you know the Ferrellis own a silent share of a company making the new voting machines? That's bad, right? Well, we certainly can't trust them. No, it's best if they all have a major malfunction, if you catch my drift.
got a mouthful of marbles. Oh, you got some guy. Up in. Where are we going? We're going to have a little chat with the mayor's assistant about Franco Pirelli. Hey! Get off my boat! You're coming with me. You can't do this! Hurry it up. The Secret Service will be watching. On the left! Take a shit without Franco say so. Nobody owned the mayor. <clears throat> ah, wait, you're right. 
It's those Sicilians. They put Franco into it. The Sicilians? Why? They owe Franco, and they want a war between the Liberty families. When the dust settles, they're coming to take over. Tony, I'll call you later. Right now, I'm gonna flush this turd into the bay. How I hate publicity, but it's all part of the game, right? Afraid so. The Ferrellis are going to try and take me out, aren't they? Don't worry, I'm going to be riding shotgun. Oh well, here goes everything. Hey, you gotta get a place hey, ready for shotgun. I got an complex. Uh, you'll be sorry. Let's you see what you got, me. tough guy. You're messing with. <laughs> Okay, we're good to go. Tony. What? The exit polls are neck and neck. Time for plan B. We steal some of the uncounted votes and we replace them with some of our own. What was that you said about vote rigging? Oh, shut up.
Thank Stop God you picked time. up. What's up, Sal? I was spying on the Pirellis in Fort Stone when all hell broke loose. You're messing with a real gangster now. The Sendatos have gone to war with the Pirellis, and I'm stuck oh, here in the middle I of a hit. Sorry, you crossed me. I'll be right there. Bring my limo and pull it for them when I need it. Now run away and call the law. Let's get out of here. Get me back to the limo. I'll be in touch. So you're the pain in the neck, huh? Excuse me? Got all kinds of important people very pissed off at you. Leon McCaffrey, LCPD. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm in the restaurant business. Whatever you say, tough guy. You grease balls want to put holes in each other, I don't give a shit. All I care about is my cut. Oh, I love a man of principle. Well, me too. I go to all their memorial services in fast cars with hot broads. My cut, where is it? Up your ass, buddy. Like, don't make me laugh. You keep fucking with me, I'll put you, your, your friends, your friends' families, your whole fucking hometown under the sword. Hey, relax. <laughs> go get laid or something. This is business. Partnership. Equals. 
I keep the law off your back, the feds, Rico, and you keep me in the shit that I like. Well, how do I know I ain't about to be shaken down by every dirty cop from here to Vice City? I'm gonna help you take over this town. In return, I want some cash and a few favors. Now, come on, Tony, take a drive with me. We're gonna meet your old friends, the Sindacos. That you're losing to do the heavy work. Adapt and survive, Cipriani. Adapt and survive. You are not Watch in it. my league. Watch it. Tony, behind us! Took your time, Tony. You say jump, I say screw you. Cute. Now listen. The Yardies have their greedy eyes on Ferelli turf in Newport. Get over there and lure the Ferelli soldiers down to the hospital in Rockford. The Yardies will be waiting for them. And what's in this for you? I owe them. Catch you later. Intelligent man, do us better, young lady.
Come on, let's take it to Come him. On, big brother. I don't know what I did wrong in my past life to deserve you. Ray, you're 40 years old and you have no idea what's really going on. I don't know how you've gotten this far. I don't know how somebody hasn't put a bullet in your mother Teresa head yet. Hey, watch your mouth, Leon. I can't believe we're having this fucking conversation. What, are you gonna run to mommy? Are you gonna jump on daddy's knee? Ask for a wet kiss? Hey, Tony! Freeze! Whoa, oh. whoa! Easy. Be my new partner, Mr. Hip. He's gonna make sure I do everything by the book. Tony Cipriani, Ray Machowski. He's with us. Hey, we're gonna go fight organized crime now. You run along to the precinct, fill out a report. You're a good kid. <laughs> Let's go, Tony. Piece of shit, Leon. Gotta be joking. See what you got. Cipriani, we must stop meeting like this. Fine by me. Come on, lighten up a little. What you got for me, McCaffrey? Those Yardy boys are having a little trouble holding on to their newly acquired turf in Newport. 
seems now the Sindakos want it back. got himself capped. I'll get the ambulance. You go help my boys. Done, Sal. There's a van nearby. Give me a call when you find it. Such non progressive problem. Hold it! I'm <coughs> in the field! Okay, Sal. I'm in the van. with Paulie Sindaco's car. So what do you want me to do? Paulie's going to a meet with the Ferrellis. He's going to try to broker a truce. Use the gear in the van to take control of Paulie's car and mess up the meet. Who the hell do you think you are? What the? 
Al here. Get over to Belleville and find the public phone booth. I got something urgent. Hurry up, I'm late for a swinging party. Forgive me, Father, for I've sinned. Shit, the devil's hit pay dirt with you, Antonio. Now, either you can go off and say Hail Marys, or you can do the Lord's dirty work. Well, the second option's more my bag. Some poor sinner confessed to fabricating a report on doping our country's finest athletes. If you were to stop him giving this to the FBI, innocent careers would be saved. Consider it done, Father. know you. Where's John O? John O? He couldn't make it. Hey, that's John O. Give me that. Screw this. Forgive me, Father, for I've sinned. Holy crap, Tony. What have you done now? No oh, language, Father. Oh, yeah. Hail Mary full of whatever. A wayward soul has confessed the fencing diamonds. Help this pilgrim on the path to redemption. Take the loot and I'll see the diamonds in return. Oh, man, let's go! 
Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Tony, my son, compared to the degenerates in this town, you're a saint. Their cars pump the devil's bum gas into our children's lungs. They are defiling Eden. Go and show these sinners the error of their ways.
Forgive me, Father, for I've sinned. Again. And you shall be redeemed once more, my son. The cult of celebrity has gone too far. What kind of whore gives a radio interview instead of giving a hard-working newspaper journalist an exclusive? Destroy these false idols. I've done what you asked, Father. Great, the paper circulation has tripled since you found your soul. What? Thanks again for all your help, Tony. Hey, what the fuck? Who are you? Watch out! Hello. Tony, some wise guy found out that the Sicilian mob was behind the Morelli's Mendoco feud. He's headed over to meet Franco Morelli right now. It works I'm very much to our advantage hey, that Franco knows nothing, moving. and this war keeps on going. Take that blabbermouth out. You got it, Sal. You can't stick to it. You're making a big mistake. He's getting away. He's going.
me, McCaffrey. I've got some news that Salvatore might appreciate. Come and see me up at the usual place. What? No flowers? I didn't know it was your funeral. You're a regular comedian, Tony. Real funny guy. The Ferrellis are getting serious. They're running arms and taking a cut of the merchandise themselves. Tooling up for trouble. They're moving the guns to Fort Staunton in trucks. It's been a gas. Likewise. I'm in this city. So we never met. Understood? Watch it. Tony, you've got to help me. O'Donovan's got evidence linking me to Salvatore. We're sunk. Calm down. Evidence goes missing every day. Not to mention judges, witnesses, jurors. I hoped you'd see it that way. One of my men has been following the guy with the evidence. He'll meet you under the overpass in Newport.
Tony. The evidence is in that van up ahead. You have to fight your way in and get the van back to DL. Good luck. Hey, Don. Took care of that mess for you. Everything should be cool now. Really? You got no more links to organized crime. You're whiter than white. You could be the Pope. <laughs> the Pope. Watch this. Although no links can be proved between Donald Love and Liberty City's organized crime, it seems his friendship with mobsters, including Tony Cipriani, have counted heavily against him in voters' eyes. The past few hours have seen his popularity plummet. He is deemed, it seems, unfit for office. Unfit? Because of you. Yeah, and it's all your fault. My fault? Oh, yeah. My fault. <laughs> I can't believe the sacrifices I've made for this town. And do you know what my weakness has been the entire time? Humility. <laughs> and now I'm ruined, bankrupt. Twenty million dollars in the hole. Gone. Bankrupt. Done. Arrivederci. Bankrupt! Tony? Sal, is that you? Hey, shut up! I'm speaking to my lawyer here! Tony, I, I mean Lionel. Listen, they got me. Can you believe it? I'm up Shit's Creek without a paddle. Now get your ass over here. There's stuff I need you to take care of. Lionel?
He's your lawyer, Mr. Leone. I know who the hell he is, pal. Come on, give me a break here. Go ahead, kid, run along. Say hello to your mother for me, Gabish. Uh, you got five minutes. Listen, uh, Lionel, you're looking good. Look at me, a fine member of the community, and suddenly I'm banged up. It really challenges my philanthropic nature. Uh, of course, Mr. Leone, we're doing everything we can to get you out of here and uh, back to helping your community as soon as possible. Of course. I hope we can sue someone for this outrage. Those cunts the Sindacos or those cocksuckers the Ferrellis? Who was it? Who ratted me out? Let's hit them both hard. The way I see it, they both could use a good... Get better this what? way. You didn't see me? Sal, it's me, Tony. Tony, it's good to oh, hear your voice, dude. These chumps will let me here. see nobody. Listen, I got plenty of business to take care of. Hey, my hey, Tony Sadako. His family's it. finished this town, but he thinks he can just run away like he's I got no dues to pay. This. I'm in jail because of that bastard. Make that son of a bitch pay.
idiots! That's Tony Cipriani! Get him! You ain't got a chance of catching me, asshead! Sindaco has left the building. Sal, how's it going? Hey, it's fucking Ben, man. Just great. Number one, the new mayor is fixing you so I don't get bail. Number two, we're stuck fighting the goddamn triads and Diablos. Number three, I hear that the fucking Yakuza are gonna make a play to take over the city. Other than that, Everything is just peachy. After all these years of mob control, we finally flushed it all down the crapper. Boss, I can take care of everything. Hey, don't push the, the Yakuza down. have got a load of weapons in Espatria. Nothing can stop them now. We'll see about that. Yeah, I'm I'm a man. No, bro, me, I'm a man. Get off! Look out! I don't see the door. How'd you get my number? If one puts their mind to it, one can achieve much. I shouldn't have to tell you that, Mr. Cipriani. I need your help in a delicate matter. For this help, 
you will be richly rewarded. I will explain when you arrive at my apartment in Torrington. So, this is the big tough gangster? You don't look so tough. Thanks. Do you know what it is to live without love, Mr. Tom? It is to live with hate. I'll take your word for it. It is my earnest wish to destroy a man, Mr. Cipriani. Destroy. Not merely kill. I want him and his whole organization weakened and humiliated before he dies. I want him to suffer. Okay. This man I want you to destroy is my husband, Kazuki Kazen. Don't worry. For your services, you will be handsomely rewarded. Well, what if I say no? You won't. Because why I merely want him dead. You need him dead. In truth, you have already dealt him a severe blow, Mr. Cipriani. However, he is taking delivery of more munitions today. I want you to steal those weapons from right under his ignorant nose. Good. Goodbye.
could have set myself up here, not halfway down that goddamn island. Well, it's been a blast. Mr. Tony! My husband was greatly infuriated by your actions. You have made him and his men look like the fools they are. <laughs> I aim to please. What's next, Princess? My husband is moving a great quantity of cash from his casino. I want you to destroy all of that money. Oh, I can find a damn good use for that money, sweetheart. I want his money burning in the street for all to see. Okay, okay. When's this move gonna happen? It has already begun. They're leaving the casino right now. So please, you don't have much time. Mr. Tony? A moment, please. My husband is furious. He wonders how you come to know when and where to attack him so precisely. Unless he's a fool, he'll work it out soon enough. Perhaps we should help him. His men gossip like old women. Let's give them something to talk about. Where are we going? The opera. The opera? Me? You kidding? Don't be ridiculous, Mr. Tony. Everyone loves the opera. If you bring my car around, we can collect your tuxedo. We don't have long. The show starts very soon. You need beer. You are not in my league. Hey, watch it!
I'm bathing, Tony San. We have little time left. My husband knows now who is truly behind his losses. He's coming to kill me. And you. Well, I ain't waiting here for him. Where is he? He's in Belleville, gathering his men. But soon he will come here. Sign our sweetheart. My prayers go with you, Tony San. Good luck. Enjoy thrusting my sword into you. Yeah, I heard that about you.
Yoshiko. It's over now. Yes. Yes, I knew that. Hello, Mr. Tony. Hey. So, uh, you won. You got what you wanted. Everything worked out great. Great. Yes, great. Very great. So it's, uh, payment time, sweetheart. We're both of us fools and killers, Mr. Tony. I guess we are. The world takes such a terrible toll on your spirit. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Tony? I guess. But, uh, you're free now. I mean, you can, uh, go to, uh, Costa Rica or Aruba or some shit. Start over new, that's what you always wanted. I don't think I'm ready for a beach holiday, Mr. Tony. I've lost everything. And I have done so deliberately. I've been granted everything I asked for. Now, I just ask to be truly free. Goodbye, Tony-san. I know what you're thinking, Tony. How the mighty have fallen. But this is just a temporary blip, my man. Okay. Oh, don't be all touchy. I know I said some nasty things about this being your fault and all, but hubris is a nasty, nasty bedfellow. Almost as nasty as termites. And trust me, I've tried both recently. Wait. You and me are on our way back. I never went away. We're in this together, amigo. No, we're not. Please. Please? Please? Forget about it, buddy. It's all your fault? Pathetic. Ten percent. Ten percent of what? This? Oh, you're too kind. Not of this. Of something really big. Come. I'll tell you about it on the drive. I hope you have your car. Mine's in the, uh, uh, shop. Yeah. Uh, Tony, transportation would be a boon. Head for the airport, Tony. We don't have a minute to lose. Oh, yes. This is my better plan. I never knew I had it in me. Even Avery would be proud. Tony, my ex-mentor, Avery Carrington, is flying into town today. It's come to my attention that he's working for the Panlantic Corporation. They'll do anything to get prime real estate. We have to get hold of his plan to acquire land. Come on, Tony, get after him.
This is gonna make me a fortune. Yes, sir, a fortune. Tony, at last, a reporter witnessed us killing Avery. He's photos. Oh, God, I'm finished. Calm down, will you? Where is this reporter? Oh, Tony, you're wonderful. Apparently, he's working on an undercover job at the church on Staten Island. Get the photos and bury him! You got some photos of me. Where are they? I don't know what you're talking about. Where are the goddamn photos? Don't hurt me. Where are they? Please, no. Come on, you little pussy. Give them up. Okay, okay. I'll get you the photos. I stashed the film in my lockup. Here they are. Take them. I didn't get them processed yet. You piece of shit. from the ashes, like Lazarus. Yes, Lazarus, love. Ah, I'm gonna be rich again. Pan Lantern are gonna pay me a fortune to see the deal through. We did it, Tony. Whatever. It's time for a little soiree with a very exclusive guest list. Come on. We're gonna need some transportation, Tony. We don't have much time. Tony, I've been dying for this party, just like my guests.
sure to get Avery's gamey old remains here before security discovers us. His autopsy is scheduled any time now. Atlantic deal is to come to fruition, we're going to need to, um, how can I put this delicately? Clear a small section of land in Port Star. Yeah, when you say we, you mean me, right? <laughs> Tony, you see right through me. Go and see 8-Ball. I'm sure he can provide us with the necessary hardware. Donald sent me to pick up some, uh, hardware. Alright, I got what you boys need, but it's gonna cost. Dawn said you'd pay me up front, and he'd reimburse you later. Yeah, I bet he did. Now, where's the hardware? Shit, son. Hardware like this takes time to put together. I'll be in touch. My man, this is 8-Ball. Your hardware is ready to ship out. Look, man, this truck is loaded. Know what I'm saying? Drive cool. Yeah. It's all good. Sure. I'll put them on. Tony, we're one little job away from being fabulously rich. We've scoured plans of Fort Staunton. Its weakest points are along the old subway that runs underneath the area. Great, Don. All I gotta do is dodge a hundred wacko Italians. Just head along the Porter Tunnel and you'll find your way in just fine.
Get the hell out of here! Oh. Supposed to be down here. Caterpillars, catter, 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 catter. Uh, no, that's no good. Um. Damn it! It's just so. Oh shit! If I just had something cold to cuddle up to, it'd be so easy. What's going on, D? Antonio. Oh, I'm just seeking spiritual enlightenment, if you must ask. But not today. Maybe tomorrow. Your message seemed kind of anxious. Anxious? <laughs> I'm, I'm meditating. Anxious. Moi. I'm at one with the universe. That's just impossible. Oh, shit. That's right. Um, there is a load of Colombians coming up here to potentially kill me if I don't keep my mouth shut and pay them all off. Oh, I guess that would explain all the uh, Colombians hovering around outside. Oh, shit. Please, Antonio, you have to get me out of here. I don't want to... Please! I, I don't want to die, I don't! So much for, uh, being at one with the universe, huh? Oh, thank you, Tony. I'll make it... Oh, I'll make it worth your while. I promise. Oh my god, Tony, do something! Come on, let's go! Oh my garden! Look what you've done to my beautiful garden! Dee, 
We could do some landscaping or escaping. It's up to you. Get me to the airport. I do so hate goodbyes, my friend. Let's just say adieu. D, it's been an education.
it's good to be a free man again. But listen, I'm gonna head up to the house and get out of these stinking rags, okay? I'll meet you up there. No, I'll talk to you later. Hey, Tony! Oh, so, you're back where you belong. Hey, we're both back. You and me, we did it, huh? You know it. We cleaned it up with the Ferrellis, the Sindacos we sent into the fucking sea. Now I got the Sicilians on the phone wanting peace. We all want peace. But my peace, not their fucking peace. I'm the big man now. No chump from the old country is gonna tell me what to do. I told them to go fuck themselves. You did? <laughs> Was that wise? Hey, I'm the boss now. Me. Now let's go see the mayor about getting my charges dropped. Step on it, Tony. If I'm right, the Sicilians will be going after the mayor. We gotta get to him before they do. They're here already. Burn them down, Tony. I'm gonna get the mayor. Oh, you mean bastard. Lousy bastards have taken him already. Tony, this way. I'll drive. You keep us covered. Where did those bastards come from?
lighthouse. Shoot one bastard and another one bites you on the ass. Torini, it figures. Give him up. The mayor is mine. This city is mine. Salvatore. Sicily never wanted Christos Kipo di Cipta. But when tribute to Dryla, what could we do? It was nothing personal. Nothing personal? After what you put me through, I'm gonna tear your fucking heart out. Mr. Mayor, we just saved you from a bunch of crazed Sicilians. Yeah, thanks. And that means... Uh, the, uh, city is, uh, grateful to you? Ow! Try again. That you work for me, right? Oh, yeah, uh, that I work for you. Good. Now, don't call us, we'll call you. Get out of here, prick. Thank you, Mr. Leone. Tony, we did it. We run things now, you and me. We're a team, huh? Now, I just need you to do one small thing for me. I got some problems that I've been dealing with. <laughs> hey, Uncle. How you doing, huh? You look good. Ah, Salvatore. All we really wanted was clarity. Yes, Uncle, I appreciate that. So, we are at peace now, you and the old country. Of course, me and all my people. Good, very good. I wouldn't trust him a fucking inch. Every dog has his day. Yeah, but we did it. Yeah, we cleaned up. <laughs> you did good, Tony. You did real good. I always knew you was a good kid. You saved my ass a few times, and I appreciate that kind of loyalty. Thank you. A good worker? I like that. Respectful. So I got you that half a million I promised you. Half? Ooh, I thought you, uh, said a couple. <laughs> I said one million dollars. For what? You can put a price on friendship? The kind of friendship you and me have? Shame on you. 
Come here. You're a good kid. <laughs> but shame on you. <laughs> <laughs>